Please thank you all very much. Senator McCain. Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, I'm pleased to see an old friend uh, here before the committee, and uh, especially pleased to see Senator Warner and Senator Nunn, two of the great members of this committee who have contributed so much to our nation's uh, defense. Um, Senator Hagel, um, this, members of this committee will raise questions reflecting concerns with your policy positions. They're not reasonable people disagreeing. They are fundamental disagreements. Our concerns pertain to the quality of your professional judgment and the, your worldview on critical areas of national security, including security in the Middle East. With that in mind, let me uh, begin with your opposition to the surge in Iraq. 2006, we lost, uh, Republicans lost the election and we began the surge and you wrote a piece in the Washington Post, quote, leaving Iraq honorably. 2007, you committed, uh, <coughs> you uh, said it's not in the national interest to deepen its military involvement. In January of 2007, in a rather bizarre exchange with Secretary Rice uh, in the Ar Foreign Relations Committee after some nonsense about Syria and, and crossing the border into Iran and Syria because of the surge, then, uh, and, the, and a reference to Cambodia in 1970, uh, you said, quote, when you set in motion the kind of policy the President is talking about here, it's very, very dangerous. Quote, matter of fact, I have to say, Madam Secretary, I think this speech given last night by this president represents the most dangerous foreign policy blunder in this con country since Vietnam. If it's carried out, I will resist it. And then, of course, you continued on and on for months afterwards talking about what a disaster the surge would be, even to the point where it was clear the surge was succeeding. In March 2008, you said, um, quote, uh, here the term quagmire could apply. Some reject that term, but if that's not a quagmire, then what is? E even as late as August 29th, 2011, in an interview, 2011, you, in an interview with um, the Financial Times, you said, I disagreed with the President Obama, his decision to surge in Iraq, if as I did with President Bush, on the surge in Iraq. Do you, do you stand by that, th those, those comments, uh, Senator Hagel? Uh, well, Senator, I stand by them because I made them. And, you, you um, were you right? Were you well, correct in your assessment? Well, I would defer to the judgment of history to uh, I sort that we, out. But I'll, the committee deserves your judgment as to whether you were right or wrong about the surge. I'll explain why I made those comments. And I want to know I if had, you were right or wrong. That's a direct question. I expect a direct answer. The, the surge uh, assisted uh, in the objective, but, but if we review the record a little uh, bit. Will you please answer the question? Were you correct or incorrect when you said that the surge would be the most dangerous foreign policy blunder in this country since Vietnam? Were you my, correct or incorrect? My yes or no? Uh, my reference to the Are surge you being the, question, the most dangerous. Senator Hagel, the question is, were you right or wrong? That's a pretty straightforward question. Uh, well, I, I, I would like to answer whether you were right or wrong, and then you are free to elaborate. Well, I, I'm not going to uh, give you a, a yes or no uh, answer well, on a lot of things Well, let the record show that today. you refuse to answer that question. Now, please go ahead. Well, uh, if you uh, would like me to explain... Um, why oh, I, I actually I, would like an answer, yes or no. Well, I'm not going to give you a yes or no. I think it's okay. far more complicated than that. As I've already said, my answer is I'll defer that judgment to history. Uh, as to uh, the comment I made about the most dangerous foreign policy decision since Vietnam was about uh, not just the surge, but the overall uh, war of choice going into Iraq. Um, that... Uh, particular decision that was made on the surge, uh, but more to the point, our war in Iraq, uh, I think was uh, the most fundamentally bad, dangerous decision since Vietnam. Uh, aside from the costs uh, that uh, occurred in this country to uh, blood and treasure, uh, aside uh, what that uh, did to take our focus off of Afghanistan, which in fact, uh, 
uh, was the original and real focus of a national threat to this country. Uh, Iraq w w was not. Uh, I always uh, tried to frame all of the different issues uh, before I made a decision uh, on anything. Now, just as you said, Senator, we can have differences of opinion, uh, but a, that's, that's essentially why I took the position it's I It's a did. fundamental difference of opinion, Senator Hagel. And Senator Graham and I and Senator Lieberman, when there were 59 votes in the United States Senate, spent our time trying to prevent that 60th. Thank God for Senator Lieberman. I think history has already made a judgment about the surge, sir, and you're on the wrong side of it. And your refusal to answer whether you were right or wrong about it is going to have an impact on my judgment as to whether to vote for your confirmation or not. I hope you will reconsider the fact that you refused to answer a fundamental question about an issue that took the lives of thousands of young uh, Americans. Well, Senator, there, there was more to it than just flooding I'm the asking zone. about the surge, Senator Hagel. I know you are, and I'm trying to explain uh, my position. The beginning of the surge also factored in what General Allen had put into place in Anbar province, the Sunni awakening. We put over, as you know, 100,000 young Senator Sunnis. Senator Hagel, I'm very aware of the history of the surge and the Anbar awakening, and I also am aware that any a casual observer will know that the surge was the fundamental factor led by two great leaders, General Petraeus and Ambassador Well, Clark. I don't know if, if that would have been required and cost us over a thousand American lives and, and thousands of yeah, wounds. So you don't know if the surge would have been required. Okay. Uh, Senator Hagel, let me go back, go to Syria now. More than 60,000 people have been killed in Syria. Um, do you believe that we should be more engaged in Syria? I know this administration is very engaged in working with its partners. Uh, so you don't think we should do more? Well, when you say do more, do you mean... Uh, you think we should put, uh, make sure that the Syrians get uh, the weapons they need and perhaps establish a no-fly zone? You think well, we do? Uh, I believe that uh, part of our review is looking at those options. It's been 22 months, Senator Hagel. Well, uh, I wasn't there. I don't know the details. Uh, I'm not there now. I'm sure you've read in the newspapers that 60,000 people have been killed and that uh, it's in danger of spilling over into neighboring countries. Um, my question, I guess, is how many more would have to die before you would support a arming the uh, resistance and uh, establishing a new fly zone, no fly zone. Well, I don't think anyone uh, questions the, the terrible tragedy that is occurring there uh, every day. It's a matter of how best do we work our way through this so that we uh, can stop it to, to begin with. Uh, and then, uh, then what comes next? I and think did the you president's disagree been with, clear on this. Did you disagree with President Obama on his decision for the surge in Afghanistan? I didn't think that uh, we, we should get ourselves into, uh, first of all, I had no original position as far as no formal position, well, you were but quoted, I didn't think we were. You were quoted in August 29, 2011, saying, I disagreed with President Obama and his decision to surge in Afghanistan. That was uh, my personal opinion, yes. I thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you, Senator McCain. Senator Nelson.